Yeah, I talked to him yesterday too, Max. Got a text, text him this morning. Yeah. 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 If you got, I'll let you know what it is if you guys want to contribute some dollars to that. I'll get them sent over there. Okay. I'll get them sent over there today. Whatever you're going to do, I got you. No. Nope. Nope. We'll work it out. We got some extra hands, so. Right. How's looking in here, my young brother? <laughs> What's your name, man? Uh, Moosey. Moosey, man, Moosey. What you got left? What else you got left to do? To get checked off. Uh, just the outside. I still got. Uh, I'm talking about you. You uh, get running for calls, right? Yeah, I just need three more. Three more and calls. Then, uh, I take my MD practical. Oh, cool. On uh, the 16th of February. Cool. A little OT this morning. Deflating right now. All right, can you put your arms across your chest and keep them there? We're gonna move you really quick, okay? All right. We're gonna go for a little slide, Tiny. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh. oh, you get the pleasure of working with this lady. I don't know. She. Little pet peeve of mine. <laughs> feed this through. It seems like I feed this through every set of wipes. Nobody, they just open it up and pull some out. Where you at today? Oh, I'm at home. Okay. Yeah, day so day side OT. Hopefully I get my Kelly on Wednesday. Yeah. I give up. Huh? So I give up with this. Oh, she got some Smediums? I got mediums. So I oh, put, uh, no. I put uh, the hand sanitizer so it's like sticking. Alright, hit all that. Mm-hmm. You got everything? Yep. I'm fast, man. 
I mean, you used to, I'm used to, you used to working with Reggie, man. You need, I mean, we move a little, well, I know, I move, I move a little faster than Reggie. <laughs> you can fit some more in there if I went and took my No, not at all. I'm surprised you're still here. No, I feel bad. I don't I know you anybody's sick, but I feel like I'm getting worse. So I might just have, what, is that going to cause them, like, stress? Or not stress, but is it going to be inconvenient for them if I go home? Like, what happens with that? Oh, um, no. I, I, I think they still want you to provide a sick note, even, well, as of recently, provide a sick note, even if you go home um, in the middle of the day. It's not so much like the cough or anything, like I'm having chest pains. Like oh. If I get sick, yo. <laughs> I get sick, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I know you feel like you know, like you wanna, like lift up and like we got, we got this, we got this. My young brother right here, you know, working to get his his status. Yeah, uh, I feel like I got it. I'm not as confident as he is, but what do you mean? I'm working on it. It's a state of mind. Yeah. Trust me, I don't know what huh? I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's not about, you know, necessarily knowing everything. Um, just when you when you know, know about something, talk on it. If not, we can get you to the hospital as soon as we can so we can get you evaluated and get you proper treatment. That's it. I mean, we tell you, of course, don't be afraid to like, Take a blood pressure and like you know do those things because i mean it, it gets better with practice but i had a guy um as a guy one of the volunteers at my station um all right, all right brother was kind of apprehensive of taking the blood pressure and I, I actually did it one time myself like and i wasn't hearing anything but it's like i don't want to sound like i'm stupid or i don't want to sound like i don't know but Sometimes it's like, just get somebody else to, to check it. It's, it's, there's nothing against you, but you may not have heard anything. It was like, for instance, the, the lady for this particular call, I didn't, I wasn't allowing the blood pressure pressure to drop for enough because I'm thinking, you know, I should start to hear something between, you know, 150 and 80. Yeah. And I was like, my hair, I'm not getting nothing. And I'm not, you know, and it's like, you know, you, you don't want to, you want to say it was 120 over 80 or something like that, or there's, of course you want to say something in that range. And sometimes you might even try to cop, cop that plea, but like continue to let it drop. And you'd be surprised. I actually had this, this one lady, it was like, her joint was like 60 over 30. 30? Yeah, her joint was 60 over 30. And it was like, she was, she was having like, you know, pretty much like kind of like blacking out and shit like that. So trust, trust your training and just, try it again you know what I mean or get somebody else to try it because yeah. I wound up having like a, a real senior one of the real senior firefighters um do it and you know he it was a teaching moment he was like you know it is what I'm sharing with you now like it was like right it was like you know allow it to to run run the course try to you know pump it up again try again you know you know, get not get somebody else to, to do it you know what I mean like don't be afraid to to talk, I mean, especially if it's me and you, like, cause I know you're learning. <laughs> I'm learning I, every call. You learn, you learn something every call. Yeah. So don't be afraid to, to ask. ask. Yeah. You're not gonna sound stupid. We, you know, people see you. You know, you're trying to learn. You're here, like, doing the inventory. You're, you know, asking, asking questions. It's like, okay, he really wants to know. Yeah. So, don't be afraid. You know, be yeah. served, yeah. huh? I appreciate it. Not, not a problem, man. It's, we here to work together, man. It's like, shit, dude, we gotta look good as a team, you know? <laughs> <laughs> as a unit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She's not gonna remember just me. Right, and it's, you don't be afraid, like, it's, even the calls, it's like, you know, it's like getting, running your first call, um, you know, as the charge aid. There's always gonna be somebody else on the call. Yeah. You're not gonna be, never gonna be by yourself. Yeah. Um, and like my first few, few calls, like, I mean, I was going, I, I, the driver did most of the talking. 
and then not that I wasn't necessarily confident, but he, he, it was just like, he was so aggressive. Like, you know, you kind of, you kind of feel out each other and you kind of play the role accordingly. Like, so like, like even what you were doing at the other, at the, at the joint, just, just start writing down, the, you know, taking vitals, start writing stuff down. Like everybody works together. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not a one man show. Though you're the charge, the charge aid. I mean, the also we gotta get the patient to the hospital. So, or even if there is really a patient, you know, it's like, well, I don't necessarily think she need to go ask, like, what, what, do you, what, what do you think? You know, like, so it's not like, yeah, the final decision is yours per se, but I mean, it's a conversation and it's a, a mutual agreement as to, you know, what you guys are gonna do it's in correspondence with the patient, so. Is it usually like the, the driver is usually like a more far along? Is that um, is is more is normally more senior. Okay. Um, there are instances where like I'm on the ambulance with somebody out of my class, like we have the same amount of experience. Uh, you know what I mean? Or um, those days are fun actually. Those days are fun. Yeah. Um, I can imagine. And then uh. Yeah, usually the the more senior person is the driver. Um, unless, like for instance, today I'm more senior than, than she is. Um, she asked me to drive because she's not feeling good, but um, I'm on overtime. I'm the, the overtime guy usually gets the, the low spot. Yell up from when you ready. Thank you. 